Okay, on uh, this question we're asked to uh, sketch uh, the graphs of y equals the modulus of fx take away a and y is equal to the modulus of 3x uh, add 5a where a is a positive constant showing your diagrams any coordinate where it meets the coordinate axis. Okay, firstly you should probably know what the um, y equals the modulus of x graph looks like. It looks like this. It's y equals x graph for x bigger than zero and y is negative x for x less than zero. So that's y equals modulus of x graph. So therefore if you add a and a is a positive constant, it's just going to be shifted up here and that point there is going to be zero a. And that's going to be y equals to the modulus of x. Oh sorry, take away a, uh, I thought it was add a. So take away a is actually going to be shifted down like this. So this point here is going to be at zero negative a like that. Okay, um, and we're going to sketch it on the same diagram, so I'll come back to it afterwards. Now this one here, uh, y equals, if it was just 3x add 5a, what would it look like? Given a is a positive constant, it would cross that 5a and it would be a straight line. Okay, so it would look like this. The fact that it's a modulus means that anything below the axis here is going to be flipped up that way there. And this point there is going to be when y is 0, and that's going to be, if you solve 0 equals 3x add 5a, you get yourself that x is going to be negative 5 thirds a. So this is going to be negative 5 thirds a and 0, like that. So let's try and draw this all on one nice picture. So here's our axis here. We're going to go down to negative a here. Okay, so this is going to be equal to y is equal to the modulus of x take away a. And the other graph is going to be, let's draw it in a this type of thing here. It's going to have a steeper gradient, so it's going to have a much, much steeper gradient. It's going to come down like this to negative 5 thirds a. Like that. It's going to go back up like something like that. Now the key is we have to draw these uh, coordinate axes here. Now I said this before was negative 5 thirds a 0. Where would this one be? Well when y is equal to 0, uh, when y is equal to 0 then you have x is equal to a all negative a. So this here is going to be a 0 and this here is going to be negative a 0. So clearly this one's got to be a bit more open than this. And this point here is, what do we say, negative a, zero, like that. Oh, sorry, zero, negative a, my fault. Zero, negative a. X, uh, zero across and negative a down. Now, uh, in this question, we're asked to solve these two equally each other. And we can see from the picture where the solutions are going to lie. The solutions are clearly going to lie here and here. So that helps us uh, dis determine uh, how we're going to solve these. So let's have a think about this. We're solving modulus of x take away a. Modulus of x take away a is equal to the modulus of 3x add 5a. Now let's think what portions of the graph we want. We want this portion of the graph here. Actually, I'll just use your first solution we want that portion of the graph with that portion of that graph there. So what are we going to do to get this? Well this is the negative okay, of 3x subtract a. So to get this one here, I'm going to call this point a. For point a, what are we going to solve? Well we're going to solve the negative of this, so negative 3x add 5a. And what portion of this? We're also taking the negative portion of this, so negative x take away a the negative part of this one, okay? So that's going to be negative x subtract a is equal to negative 3x uh, subtract 5a and then add x to both sides, add a, so 0 equals negative 2x um, negative 4a and add 2x to both sides, 2x is negative 4a and x is therefore equal to negative 2a. So our solution here is x is equal to negative 2a. Now for point B, let's think about point B where they cross here. So for point B, what do we want for point B? For point B, we want the positive 
uh, part of this graph, look, the positive part of this graph. So what we want is we just want the 3x add 5a part of that graph. And we're solving it equaling what? Well, we're solving it equaling the negative part of this graph still. So we're still solving equal negative x subtract a. So add x to both sides, add a. 0 equals 4x add 6a. So therefore, 4x is equal to negative 6a. And x is therefore at negative 6a over 4. And if you simplify that, x is therefore going to be equal to negative 3 over 2a. So x is equal to negative 3 over 2a, which will be that point there. Now both seem reasonable, both are negative numbers, and one is before the other one. So let's just uh, have a think about that. This one here is negative 1 half a, this one here is negative 2a. It looks right in, in, in accordance with our graphs.